Good afternoon, gentlemen. Greetings. Welcome to uh, Unit Canberra. Can you tell me a little bit about yourselves and your organisation, please? Thank you. My name is Luca Castellani. I am the head of the Regional Centre for Asia and the Pacific of the United Nations Commission on International Trade Law, UNCITRAL. UNCITRAL was established in 1966 by the United Nations General Assembly with a mandate to promote the unification and harmonization of international trade law. It is the core agency in the United Nations system. It has produced a number of legislative standards, such as treaties and model laws, which help everyday businessmen in conducting trade across borders, in particular by increasing legal predictability. And I'm Tim Castle. I'm a solicitor and barrister from, from Sydney. Uh, I was engaged by the regional centre to uh, prepare a report about uh, Australian trade law initiatives. Um, as a result of that report, I'm now going to be working as the interim UNSA trial coordinator at the Law Council of Australia, which is the peak uh, legal profession body in Australia, and we will be looking to coordinate all the work done by people in practice, in academic world, um, in civil society organisations and in government to look at UNSA trial issues and how they can be advanced both in Australia and also in our region. And in regards to this visit, why are you here in Australia? Well, I'm here in Australia because we have had a significant interaction with Australia before. We have several stakeholders in different ways. And in particular, uh, one matter which is important to us, is, as Tim said, is to establish a better way of, of communicating between Australia and Australia. Australia and Australia share very many a joint interest in promoting trade at the global and regional level. And so in particular, I'm in Canberra today in order to coordinate that with different stakeholders, such like the Attorney General's Department and, for instance, DFAT. And uh, we've been very pleased that Luke has been able to make a number of visits during the last 12 months down here to Canberra to meet with, um, with senior stakeholders and to give real impetus to how we in Australia can interact with UNCITRAL um, I appreciate that the regional centre for Asia Pacific based in Incheon in Korea has a, has a huge mandate and uh, one of the things that we can offer here in Australia is, is, a, is a hub to, um, uh, to address some of these issues in the South Pacific and some of our, our immediate Asian nations to our near north. And um, something in particular has happened this week in terms of uh, Australia signing or acceding to a convention. Could you tell us a little bit more about that, please? Yes, absolutely. This is a, another milestone in the cooperation between Ancetral and Australia. Australia decided a few years ago to become a party to a, an Ancetral Treaty, which is called the United Nations Convention on the Use of Electronic Communications in International Contracts. But the accession of Australia to a treaty was subject to every state and territory passing a revised Electronic Transactions Act. And last month, uh, such, such condition became uh, true because Queensland had passed the revised Electronic Transaction Act and thus joining the other states and territories. So we know now that in the next months, the formalities will be completed and Australia will join the treaty. And that will be extremely significant in promoting paperless trade in East Asia. And what significance will it have for those in Australia? Um, I, th I think that there's, a, uh, there's a, a revolution which is happening in Australia at the moment about um, increased use of electronic communications in place of paper-based communications. So domestically, um, the, the legislation, the Electronic Transactions Act, which have flowed as a result of this treaty, um, will actually lead to a greater use of um, electronic contracting, the acceptance of electronic signatures in, in a domestic sense. And I think, uh, as Luca would make the point very clearly, um, it greatly facilitates international trade between Australia and a large number of our, our, our trading partners, where paper-based documents largely become irrelevant and um, people can rely upon uh, electronic uh, documentation and signatures in particular to conduct their business transactions. And I think, I think at a time when we're looking to um, remove barriers to trade, we're looking to um, improve trade flows, uh, between Australia and the rest of the world, you know, it's a very positive development. And one last question, do you think that Australia signing um, on will encourage others to do so? Oh, absolutely. Uh, Australia has always been a leader in adopting uh, electronic commerce legislation. And now he's joining another leader, Singapore, in the region as a party to the treaty, but he's still among the first countries to, to adopt the treaty. 
we, we know that more countries will join in and more countries will be extremely encouraged by, by this move of Australia. And we are already getting ready to provide the support. And we also uh, hope to be able to benefit from all the expertise uh, that is already present in Australia to help other countries, especially in East Asia, to adopt the treaty and to get the most out of this instrument. And, and one of the things I think with the UNSA trial coordination role that we're setting up at the moment is uh, really to try and expand the opportunities for Australian practitioners, Australian academics uh, to contribute to our region by um, taking advantage of the fact we have a very well developed legal system, we have very good uh, legal and academic resources and um, we're in a very fortunate position. Uh, we'd like to help and it's a question of organising our resources to uh, to assist UNSATRAL and assist a number of other organisations which are, are working to improve um, uh, trading conditions sort of in our region and, and more generally in, in the Asian region itself. So it's a strengthened partnership that which will go on? Absolutely. We yes. definitely think so, yes. Thank you. Thank you.